Hi everyone. Now is the second example in conservation of energy. Okay. So refer to the figure above. An object at A moves with an initial speed of 2.5 meter per second and stops at B. Okay. Determine the height H. All right. So this object at A, it moves to B. So we apply the principle of conservation of mechanical energy. So first of all, uh, determine the initial and final condition. Okay, this is the sorry. Okay, this is the initial conditions and this is the final conditions. So uh, over here, it has the initial velocity, uh, which is uh, two point five. Okay, and uh, and it has certain height. Uh, so we can say initially it has both potential energy because of the height and also it has the kinetic energy because of the initial speed. Okay, uh, right, where is my cursor? Huh? So we have the, it has the height and it has the velocity. So it has both gravitational potential energy and the kinetic energy. Uh, but in the end, when the, the blob has reached at the top here, uh, it stops. It says that it stops. Uh, that means the velocity is zero over there, but it has certain height. Certain height, that means it has, uh, so finally it has the potential energy only, uh, no more kinetic. All right. So, so we can say that um, the initial total energy is equal to uh, final total energy. Uh, only that the final kinetic energy is zero because it says it stops. Okay, so it has the initial potential, initial kinetic, and only has final potential. Okay, then apply the formula. Apply the formula as we know. So uh, potential energy is mgh, and uh, kinetic energy is half mu square, and finally it has the uh, MGH, big H, yeah. Now, um, mass is not given, right? Mass is not given, but never mind, we can cancel. So, not necessarily the mass must be given, it can be cancelled, yeah, at some point. So, then substitute all the values. Uh, the G is 9.81, the H initial is 2. Plus half u is uh, 2.5, 2.5 uh, square, and then the g, okay, uh, uh, here again 9.81 times the big H. So we get our big H, which is uh, 2.32 meter. That's the height uh, it reached at the top here. Okay, uh, that's the final height. Uh, initial height is only 2, but final height is 2.32. Um, it goes to a higher potential energy because uh, the kinetic energy all has converted to potential energy. So, resulted in bigger gravitational potential energy. So, also at a bigger height. Right? Okay, so that's all for this question. See you in the third questions.